Awesome. Good afternoon, or I guess good morning, depending on where you're at, guys. This, my name is Aaron. Didn't hear anything you just said. If you said anything, he froze. <clears throat> yeah, you froze too, actually. So I don't know. All right, let's try this again. My name is Aaron. And I'm Christian. And this is episode 29 of Brain 10, where we brainstorm uh, 10 ideas two to three times per week live on this show. And then uh, we upload it up to YouTube and you can grab all of our show notes and just use it for your businesses. Uh, typically, our, our blabs are about our Brain 10 is about small business marketing or tech. And then today, Friday is always new tech for small businesses. So let's get into this. Like Christian, you have number one. Right. So besides tech, uh, we also do, you know, products uh, or it could be like startups or companies um, or sometimes even like news about something that's going on. So uh, number one is more of a, you know, something that's going on with Instagram. Uh, it looks like they're going to allow us to see um, how many uh, people watch your videos. So instead of just uh, seeing the amount of people that like your videos, <clears throat> now you can just tap on the where you would see the normally the, the likes uh, and it can toggle between the likes and the views of your videos um i think it was i mean this is just a great little feature uh, hopefully they will add it pretty soon uh and uh, it's just it gives it a little bit of more uh, metrics uh for us marketers or small businesses so right you can actually prove that it's getting put out there because before you'd advertise and you'd say that you have so many impressions or so many people who you know, have basically seen it, but now you can actually say, this is how many likes, or I mean, this is how many views that it's getting. So exactly. Awesome. Okay. Number two, let me post the link down here for you guys. It is called happenstance.co. Um, what it is, I think it's a pretty cool startup. What all they do is you fill out an out, uh, a form and they use their algorithm to match you with people who may or may not be compatible uh, in the business world. So you're just meeting new people you would have never met otherwise. And I was just thinking for us, you know, I may ran into somebody who's in California who does something different. We end up collaborating somebody else across the world. Um, you know, we have similar interests, able to collaborate. Uh, and then it's always cool to just meet new people. So it seems very simple. It's just a matter of filling out some questions about what you're interested in, if you have a business, what kind of business. Uh, and then I believe they just match you up with people. It's a free service. So love that part. It's all done through email. Yes, all done through email. Very cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number three, it's called impossible.com. Uh, I don't remember where I stumbled upon this, um, but it's basically a, uh, a worldwide community of people who are willing to help others for free. So when you sign up for this, uh, it basically kind of like you know, the one that you just mentioned, you answer some questions and uh, you tell, you know, the site when you create your profile, uh, what are your strengths? So you could say, you know, I don't know, graphic design, or maybe you're good at writing books or you're good at cooking. Um, impossible.com you can create your account there and uh, it's basically you know just a community of people helping other people for free uh, I mean it could be something really complicated it could be something really simple um, but I mean I signed up for it and I think I think it will be very rewarding um, and it could be like simple stuff as just like translating uh, something you know so um, hmm. I looked it up the other day and I mean it was it was pretty cool so Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have to check that out more for, I want to see what other services they offer, but uh, see if I can actually help out with anything on there too. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good, do they, do you have to sign up? Can you only sign up with your email or do you have like it's sign up with Twitter or how exactly? Um, I think I signed up with my Twitter account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do Twitter or Facebook actually. Awesome. Okay, so this next one, number uh, yeah, number four, is for those Android users. So typically on our shows, I would say that most of these people or most of you guys are iPhone users. You can let me know in the captions down below. But this is for 
Google Play users only right now. Sorry, iPhone users. I am an iPhone user. But it's called getwifiereapp.com. And it's Get Wi-Fi app. All it is is an app that you download, and it will list the areas close to you that have free Wi-Fi. And if you enable it too, it will automatically connect you to Wi-Fi. So it, you don't have to go through the whole process of going to your settings, adding Wi-Fi, trying to put in the password. If it's a free Wi-Fi, it will connect you automatically. Um, and their biggest thing is that, I mean, it's free, I believe, actually. And let me double check. Um, if it wasn't, it was like 99 cents. But the biggest thing that they're advocating for is that you just cut down on the data that you have to mm-hmm. that you have to use. A huge amount of data that a lot of the early people have seen now that you don't have the hassle of like going to settings, sign up for Wi-Fi. Um, and right now, I believe it's only for Google Play. So sorry, iPhone users, like I said. Uh, but they are going to be rolling it out. Why they didn't roll it out to iPhone, I don't know. But they will be rolling it out that I've read recently <clears throat> yeah that'll be awesome <laughs> especially for us when one out on the road right just jump on one real quick and you don't have to worry about signing on and signing off and then jump on another one yeah very cool all right so number five uh this one's pretty cool actually uh it's called the scout by Sprint or Discount Sprint. I don't think it's affiliated to the Sprint uh, cell phone company. <clears throat> Basically what it is, is um, if you have a product and uh, you wanna get some reviews or some market research basically, uh, you sign up for them, you give them one link of you know where your product is online and a short description of it. And they basically push this to 40,000 users that use their application and they test your product, they look it up, um, and they give you a quick 30 second video review of your product. Um, the company basically gathers all this data for you and uh, gives it to you and gives you like demographics for um, the, the users that tried out your product, uh, gives you complete transcripts uh, and all the videos are just packaged together. Um, again, I think this is just great for, you know, maybe like JP, uh, he's been on our show before and uh, he has like a, pyramid docking station and uh it'll be great you know all he has to do is just give him that link give him a short description of the product and he gets you know reviews live you know not live videos but uh videos of people checking out his product saying what they thought about it and all this stuff so is that free i don't remember if you said that it was free um i don't think so sounds way too good to be one of the free items right (laughs) Yeah, we'll have to check on the price for that one. Yeah, I didn't see any prices because uh, they're in beta, so you have to request access for it. But I'm guessing it's not. Oh, okay. Free. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a. I actually saw a similar service earlier this week, but it wasn't that name. It was it was something different, but it was probably a lot more expensive than the one that you found because I was very surprised that people were charging so much to just review a product, but. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was number five, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Number six. This is uh, really cool. So if you're a small business owner and you're trying to find emails, I know I was meet, speaking with a client last week who's trying to – let me post it down here real quick. She was trying to find C-level executives in the healthcare industry who basically can make decisions. And – I don't know if you guys know much about LinkedIn, but that's pretty hard. I mean, you can get you can get to that niche, but you don't know if that person's actually going to make the decision or not and whether or not they would actually even respond to you on LinkedIn. What this company does, they are highly targeted email leads. Um, and basically, you pay as little as 25 cents to find out whether or not they're in your industry. You pay like another 10 or 15 cents to find out that they're in the healthcare industry. And you pay another like 20 cents or so to find out that they're a C-level executive making those decisions. Um, So it's highly qualified leads and uh, get you in front of the right person. But basically it's, uh, I don't know, they said they advocate about 44 cents on average for a lead. And then of that 44 cents, it turns into a 40 to $50 lead per customer. So a huge ROI on that. 
these these guys have also built a couple of other apps. I was going to put them on here, but I can't remember them. But they're very well recognized in the tech space. They've had a lot of success with uh, different apps. And I cannot remember what apps they were um, advocating for, but I saw it in a chat room that they are, uh, they put out high quality work. And then when I went to go do a review on it, on Product Hunt even, they had a lot of good reviews there too. A lot of people were very satisfied, said that they've uh, had a very high open rate with the with their customers. So, Yeah, that is awesome. And I like their website a lot actually. <laughs> Yeah. Website helps people. You must have a good call to action, good, easy website to get to. All right. So number seven, uh, this is an app that we actually use almost every day for our business. Um, it's called Convoy and it's by Citrix. Uh, basically Convoy lets you create your own phone number so you can use it for business or you can use it for you know whatever, but we use it for business. Uh, so we can separate our personal number and our business number. Uh, it allows you to do calls, text messages, all free. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, I'm guessing there's some kind of limitations to it. We haven't reached it yet. So, um, <clears throat> but it's free. You, the, you can't choose your number, but you can choose the area code. So for example, we are from Kansas and we're moving to Texas or Aaron's already been living in Texas and I'm moving to Texas. Um, so I didn't want to give out my Kansas number uh, to all these Texas people. So we created the business number and the business number, I could choose the uh, the area code. So I chose a you know, Dallas uh, area code. So it looks a little bit more professional. Um, and another cool thing about it is that you can also customize your voicemail for that specific number. Uh, so if someone's mm -hmm. calling you, you can have a voicemail just for that business number. You can have your voicemail for your own personal number. Uh, and then the other thing that they just added uh, on the last update was the ability for you to figure out, you know, if someone's calling your business number, it'll go to your phone. It won't go to the app. So it'll go to your phone. But it, when you answer it, it will be an automated message saying like, hey, uh, reply one to answer this phone call. Yeah. And that's how you Press know. One, yeah. yeah. That's how you know that that is a, uh, a business call. Otherwise, a regular you know phone call. Uh, it would just ring and you answer and that's it. Um, but it's now, really, really cool and it's free, so. Right. The only downfall is that, and it's not even a downfall. If you're using it, it's fine. But you have, if you are inactive for 30 days, if you don't send a text message, all you have to do is send one text message or one phone call. Uh, and it uses your own phone's data plan, so nothing else needs to be added. But if you don't send that text message, your number could be, uh, refurbished or given out to somebody else. Right. So yes, yeah, so you want to make sure you're, you're staying active. I mean, there, there there has to be some kind of limitations to it, right? Because I mean, they have to make money somehow. But I think they rolled out with something as far as um, a, I don't know, a little bit more detail with uh, like the answering the phone calls. It may be or uh, more data usage or more something like that. Premium features. But. One thing I do love about it that doesn't go on my personal voicemail is that when I go to the top, so I mean, this is just a company phone, but when you go to the top and you have a voicemail, it comes across as a regular text message. But if you don't want to listen to the voicemail, well, first off, you have the option you can listen to the voicemail. But secondly, it will send it to you as a text message. And it reads it pretty good. It's like, hey, it's Shirley from, you know, the Boston Inquirer, blah, 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 blah. And you don't have to actually listen to the voicemail because it's sent to you as a text message, which I actually like a lot. That, yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome, Papa. Down, down there. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so number eight is just some news about Facebook. So if you are in Facebook marketing or want to get into Facebook marketing, have a friend who's in small business, this is uh, pretty cool. Basically... Uh, as advertisers on Facebook, we all know that the autoplay, a lot of people have it enabled to just do autoplay. So the video plays, however, the audio does not play. So videos are huge in 2016. Uh, I'm not saying not to do videos, but a lot of people won't hear your ads. They won't see the mu uh, see the visuals, you know, lining up with the music or anything. But Facebook has now fixed that, um, and they are 
debuting it where you can do captioning for video ads and with that oh no christian jumped out but the captioning for video ads um will increase the video views by 20 percent or no 12 percent sorry um all right papa kosenix has to go all right see ya um we'll talk to you later but very very big for um small businesses who want to see the ROI from the video ads, but people are just scrolling through there. They're seeing the numbers, but they're not seeing the conversions and the captioning adds uh, another layer for that. Did you miss most of that Christian kind of a little bit? I don't know what happened. It just completely closed out my browser. So I had to open it back up. But yeah, I did. Got a... <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're just basically talking about the ability to do captioning now on Facebook ads and, uh, how much that's going to change the game as far as advertisers mm. so they can still get their message across without having people click into their videos. Right, yeah. I mean, a lot of just the regular BuzzFeed videos that are all over Facebook, they do do that now. Um, right. And a lot of the news websites, they're doing that right now. They're just adding the captions so you don't even have to, you know, listen to anyone talk, <clears throat> which is great. I mean, I do it right. all <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, that's true. You get the whole point across. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. It's a few, yeah, a few short bursts of text. All right, so number nine is going to be MailTrack.io. Uh, I know I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of services like this out there. Uh, this one specifically is just for Gmail, uh, and basically what it does is it allows you to see who reads your email uh, and when they when when they open the emails and. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's just like a little addition to your Gmail. Uh, so it's very non-intrusive. Uh, all it adds is just like green check marks uh, to the sent emails. So you, you, I mean, you barely even see this. Um, but I mean, it's a great tool for you know people like us, you know, sending emails and making sure that our clients or like leads are getting them, uh, making sure that we know when they open the emails. Uh, it just gives you a little bit an edge, I would say. Uh, into right. you know when you need to communicate with them and stuff like that. Uh, and again, I know a lot of people you know offer something like this. This one's completely free. They do offer a four twenty five a month uh, monthly package, but you don't even need it. Uh, really, it's just more like they adding premium features. But the core of it, you know, you can have it everything basically for free. So, right, and the. The way that the green check mark works is like it gives you one green check mark if it was sent to, uh, successfully, and then the second green check mark when they actually open it. And right. if you have a Chrome uh, browser, it will give you like a notification and say like, "Hey, they just read this message, so you know that uh, you know what's going on." But they do, and Christian and I were talking about this earlier. They do say they brand themselves down at the bottom with like their name uh, and says like tracked with uh, Matt mail track basically but you can just click a little x button on every email if you don't want to click the x button you pay like the four dollars but if you don't mind clicking an x it won't brand it people won't know that you're sending it out so right awesome all right hey andrew all right so let's get on to number 10 here this is a very long link the longest link we i think we've ever put in here so sorry no problem. Loud Radio said, uh, thanks for the intro to com for Convoy, guys. Yeah, so I want to get on to number 10, but I really can't advocate enough for Convoy. We did a lot of research in the past trying to mm -hmm. find something that was free and that provided the services for a quality good. So can't say enough about it. It's Centrix, right? Yeah, it's Citrix. Yeah, okay. Again, we have no affiliation with any of the products that are going on here, but uh, really feel happy with the way that they do their stuff. All right, so number 10 is an app. It's called Quartz, and it sends you messages, just like text messages, but you have the app, sends you text messages. Uh, another cool thing is it sends you GIFs and emojis, but all it is is headline news sent to you. So you don't have to go, I think it's kind of like trying to compete with Twitter or Facebook or anything else, but it's just strictly news in text message format, uh, more personable, more... Uh, top of mind basically and give you the real news 
Now, I don't know what news outlets they send it to you, but or send it from, but it's just major headlines. Kind of like if you have ESPN app, they'll tell you that Kobe Bryant's last game in Cleveland is tonight or, you know, whatever it may be. It's, uh, you know, whoever puts it out first, I'm guessing. I have not yet downloaded it, but I will. Um, and I don't think that it – I think it's free, actually. I did check out that. We try to provide as much uh, free information and then free uh, – products and services because we know that small businesses or even people interested in stuff like that, they'd rather. Yes. Okay. So just double check that it is free. Um, so if you're interested in getting news and you don't want to get bogged down with going to Twitter and trying to find out the information there or go to a one news site and try to get the information uh, there and then get sidetracked, this would be a good, good app for you. It's got very good reviews so far and I believe it was actually released yesterday. So brand new. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, I'm looking at the uh, some of the screenshots on the App Store, and uh, it gives you like a, just a little short blurb, you know. And like this person, I guess, commented back, and they just comment back with more information. Um, wow. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So the example they said was something about North Korea and Syria and the CEO, or whatever. And he said, "What's the strategy next?" And then. I'm sure that the app replied with more information on it. Mm -hmm. So they only give you the headline. And if you want more in depth, you can just reply and get that. Right. Uh, so very cool. Okay. And our bonus one for the day, Christian has number 11. 11. Okay. This is a, just like a little bit of uh, news or kind of a cool thing going on, I guess. Uh, so this coming Monday, the 15th is the Grammys. I'm guessing it's somewhere in Hollywood or Los Angeles, probably. Um, but basically, this year, they are attaching GoPros to the trophies, to the Grammys. So you'll be able to go to the, I think it's live.grammy.com. You'll be able to see the artist's uh, reactions right when they get the trophy. Uh, and then afterwards, too. So like when they walk off the stage, you can actually still watch what's going on um, as far as like their reactions. Um, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and uh, it's just kind of like a little behind the scenes. And I know we advocate, you know, the live video and all that stuff. And this is it right here. You know, this is like living proof that this is where everything's moving towards. It's that live video. And uh, I think, I mean, I think it's a, a great idea. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, but I mean, still, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll probably be, you know, watching some people. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, wrap up here. We've got somebody who wants to jump in the seat. If you want to wait just a second, we'll let you in. Um, but anyway, um, you can grab all of our show notes if you came in late, if you missed the first five or the first two, and you're really like, oh, what were the other ones? We upload all of our videos uh, Saturday morning, and you can check it out on YouTube. Um, if Christian grabs that link for us, I was going to grab it, but I forgot. Yeah. Um, but we'll upload them to YouTube. You can watch the video again if you really want to. Thanks. If you do, appreciate it. But you can grab our show notes. That's the important stuff. It has the links, everything that we said here. Uh, there are personal show notes and all you can do is just uh, read what's going on, everything that we said, but a concise form and use it for your business uh, to grow. Now, only thing that we do ask is that you subscribe to us because we want to get to our goal is a hundred. Um, we actually to make it a specific goal. I want to say now I'm going to say it live here. Our goal is to get to 100 by May, the beginning of May. So um, please subscribe. And I think that's it. So thanks, guys. But we will stick around to answer any questions that anybody has or if anybody missed something, uh, we always stick around to uh, see if we can help anybody. So again, my name is Aaron. And I'm Christian. And this was episode 29 uh 10 plus new tech products and services this week so we'll see you guys next tuesday